Hey guys, just wanted to uh, catch y'all up on what's been going on. Uh, here we had a heavy snatch day. We're supposed to work up to 95% of our one rep max. And that put me at doing some singles at 215. As you can see here, it's not going very well. Most of these misses are at 215. Uh, didn't seem like it was going to happen. That I decided I was going to give myself one more miss. So I went ahead and added five pounds. Hit a PR at 220. That's it right here. Then on the next cycle, figured might as well give 225 a shot for a lifetime PR. That was the heaviest I've ever snatched in my life. I just wanted to try something new. I was going to do a review on a product that I've been using. I actually got these for Christmas, so I've been using them for a little over two months now. And I've been really happy with the product. And that's one of the main reasons that I wanted to do this review. But what I've got here is a set of OSO billet aluminum collars. Um, here they are. I got the blue collars. They've held up really well. I've been using them almost daily for about two months now. And I've just been really happy with them. Um, a lot of spring collars kind of lose their tightness over time. You have trouble hanging on the bar and you have to stop and adjust your weights as you lift. But um, I've used these for workouts where I've probably dropped the barbell close to 100 times and not had to adjust these once. So that's really a big time saver when you're doing a workout. And it's just kind of annoying to have to um, stop and tighten up your weights all the time. But one of the things I really like about these, you'll see right here that it's locked right now. It's locked down. It uh, opens up, and when it's open, it doesn't really open up enough to even move off the bar. It just gets a little looser. You have to apply that extra effort right there to make it open and spread enough where it'll come off the bar easily. So even if this was to come open, it probably wouldn't even come off the bar while you were working out. So you have to put this extra effort on it just to make that go ahead and open up. So that's one of the things that I really liked about these collars. So a few things I really like about these collars is you can get this case. It's an additional 20 bucks. Um, it's a good carrying case, throw it in your bag, and it's gonna protect the collars from banging around in your bag and hitting, up your, hitting your other gear. Um, the collars are sell for around 50 bucks, and I had a hard time bringing myself to spend $50 on them, but I ended up just getting them, like, as I said, as a gift for Christmas, so that made it a little easier on me, but they're well worth $50. I'll definitely, if these ever do go bad, I'll definitely get another pair. Um, the good thing about these is they do have a two-year warranty, so if something happens to them, they break, they uh, malfunction, something happens, you can replace them for up to two years, so I feel like if, you, if it lasts two years, you've got your money worth right there. The case does not come with them. That's the only, I didn't really like that. Um, you had to pay an extra, I think, $20 for the case. But like I said, it is a nice case. It's handy to have. Kind of wish to go ahead and throw it together as a set and charge 70 for it versus having to buy the two things separately. The collars are made in America. It's a good thing. Um, like I said earlier, they're made out of a billet aluminum. Let's see, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I said they had the two-year warranty. I thought that was a... Pretty solid warranty. Um, the interior of the collars here, I don't know if you can see it or not, there is a rubber lining in there that keeps them from uh, messing up your bar, keeps it from grinding down on your bar, and it also helps it stick on your bar well too. So even if it was to come undone, like I said, that first snap, it's just gonna sit there because it's not gonna have enough pressure to open all the way up. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Um, show you one more time a little close that's the collar the only problem I've had with them you can see on the outside they've wore down a little bit and that's where they've um, grinded up against metal um, five and two and a half pound plates on the end on the end of the bumpers and the only way I guess they could stop that would be to maybe raise these edges up a little bit which I've saw some of their other collars and they've actually done that. So um, that might be something they do on some of their more expensive collars and they just don't do on these. So I think these are the base ones, the base OSL collars. But um, I've been very happy with them. As you can see, the outside is still in great condition. I've been using them probably five times a week. 
for, like I said, two months now. So I've been really happy with them. If you uh, have thought about getting a pair, I'd definitely recommend it. This was the Friday following after I hit 225. So five days later, we're supposed to work up to 95% again, and it just was not happening for me that day. No matter what I did, I just could not get my 95%. Zach and Steve-O both ended up having really good days. So they were able to hit their 95% successfully on their snatch and their cleaning jerks. There were some misses along the way though. And then here's me. Cleaning jerk went a little better, but it was feeling really heavy that day. I don't know if Monday just got to me or what, but um, this week just wore me out. I, everything felt super heavy on Friday. Here's Steve-O taking his 95% up. And Zach taking his 95% too. This is supposed to be a clean and jerk at 300-305. Clean felt okay, but the jerk was not happy. So it was feeling a little heavy, but on a positive note, I turned 30 last week, so I got to eat all kinds of cake.